Okay, this is some AS further maths. It's complex numbers. This is our final topic in the complex number unit, and it's solving polynomial equations with real coefficients. So here, indeed, we have a polynomial equation with real coefficients. Those are real numbers there. Um, and we can kind of work out some of the roots if you kind of just take some of the information in here. So if alpha is a complex root of a polynomial equation with real coefficients, then so is the complex conjugate then of alpha. Another way of saying this is that the complex roots of such an equation occur in conjugate pairs. Given that 1 plus i is a root of this, find the other roots. It's a cubic equation. We would expect it to have three roots. And here's the information that you need. If you didn't quite understand the couple of lines just above, this is what it means. If 1 plus i is a root, then so is 1 minus i. Okay? So the roots we know so far, we have two of them already. 1 plus i, where we're given it. And then also 1 minus i. Say, for example, we knew 2 was a root um, of an equation. Just a regular number 2. That means x minus 2 is going to be a factor. So the two factors then that we have here, therefore we know that z minus 1 plus i has to be a factor, and z minus 1 minus i um, is also a factor. So we have two of our factors. If you multiply through your two factors, you should end up then with um, a quadratic. Because these are two linear factors. So let's see what we have. We'll take our time with this. Because we just need to be careful. So if we have z minus 1 plus i. And we're multiplying that by z 1 minus i. First times first. z squared. Uh, wider. Minus z upon 1 minus i inner minus z upon 1 plus i and then the two last the minus the minus was turned into a plus 1 plus i 1 minus i yeah, let's sort of tidy this up then that's going to give me z squared minus z plus z i multiplying out this bracket minus z minus z i and here then we have another four to do so plus one times one minus plus one then you've got a minus i plus i so they're going to cancel each other and then i times minus i i times i is a square i times i gives you minus one because remember i is the square root of minus one and then change the sign so then just done with a plus one so what do we have that cancels and that cancels that gives us a 2 and a minus 2z so this actually just then gives us a real um quadratic equation so we are there uh, it's a cubic so it should have three factors these are two of the roots these means these are two of the factors we've multiplied them together and we've got a quadratic if we now divide this quadratic into this cubic it should then give us our final factor. And that's kind of everything that we need to do. Let's do our long division and see where we go there from there. Z squared minus 2z plus 2. And we're doing a long division and we're going to divide that into z cubed plus 4. Z squared minus 10z plus 12. Z squared times what gives me z cubed? Um, that's of course going to give me z. And then do z times this, z cubed minus 2z squared plus 2z. Subtracting these in, you obviously get 0, 4 minus minus 2 gives me 6z squared minus 12z, bringing down then the plus 12. z squared into 6z squared, so z squared times what gives me 6z squared? So that's plus 6, and hopefully that's us done. Uh, we need to check we do get 0 here, although we've messed up somewhere. between terms this here, now about 6. 6 z squared minus 12z plus 12. So good news. Everything cancels out then and give us 0. If you don't get a 0 there, it's not a factor. You've done something wrong. Um, so we can rewrite our original p of z then. 
as z plus 6 z squared minus 2z plus 2 uh, and what do we have to do so the equation the other roots are what does it say given one find the other roots so our roots are then 1 minus i and then the other one is minus 6 because z plus 6 that's a factor uh, that's all.